special day here at Keyboard Exchange. It's always a special day here. Well said. Thank you. I, I concur. <laughs> well, this C3 has piqued the interest of a good friend of Keyboard Exchange over in Japan. Okay. Greetings, KT. And KT has sent us a, a copy of a factory video where they were playing the organ in a church with a PR40 speaker, no less. And when these organs were originally manufactured, they were sold with the PR40 or a Hammond speaker cabinet of other models, but I think the PR40 kind of like was the last and possibly the best, most modern, quote unquote, speaker cabinet that the Hammond factory made, preceded by a dozen or more other models. But the PR40 would have been very commonly sold with a C3, a B3, or an RT3. And in fact, in the back of uh, the A100s, and all those other models I just mentioned, there's a five pin connecting port to accommodate the Hammond PR40. So for those of you who've been looking at that output with five pins thinking you could plug your Leslie right in, well, that's not gonna work. It's a lot more involved than that. Although you could plug in a 122, you just wouldn't have speed control for it. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> what we're doing today is we're asking Randolph to play like the uh, lady in the video. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little something different. And, and when you're done playing like the video I showed you of the factory uh, brooch, the video brochure, give us a little Randolph Carter style at the end, uh, you know, so people know that a PR40 has uh, other capabilities. It, it really depends on the musician. <clears throat> now, tell me your theory again, so the good people know about what you heard on that video and why you think that might have been a different model than the C3. Um, well, on the video it seemed as if it was a 32-foot uh, bass pedal organ, which would probably most likely be uh, RT2, RT3, D152, one of those models. Um, because you could hear some of the low end other voicings that would come from the pedal solo unit, and the bombard, and so forth. Yeah, that's the main feature that uh, Hammond offered with the 32 pedal organ, a whole completely uh, tube generated pedal tone generating system called the pedal, pedal solo unit. But you said you got a few tricks up your sleeve and how you're going to adjust the draw bars and also how you're going to play the fifth of the, the fifth note of the key that you're in instead of the root sometimes to give that Bombardier faux exactly. effect. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Okay, well, uh, that's very interesting. Take it away, Randolph.
I'm Jim Huss, speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years, and it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us, knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together, and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel organ. God bless. Signing off.